Welcome trainers, Watts here, and today we are on Battle Spot, and we are playing a new team, and we are trying out the green screen. Now granted it doesn't look the best, I'll work on that in the future, but we're doing another thing very special today. So today, for every time we get hacked in our upcoming two battles, every time RNG is just ridiculous, we are going to do parkour. Alright, so we have an opponent with a rating of 1530, so around the same as mine. He's got a team of Top Lily, Gigalith, Porygon, 2, Melodic, Arcanine, and Salamence. Okay, I'm not bringing Arcanine, it doesn't really do anything, and it triggers the competitive. Um, we want, we want to bring our Ninetales, it's good against Mence, and the Aurora Veil could be really nice. I definitely want Cartana here, it's really good against everything except for the Mence and Arcanine. Uh, but we need a way to protect it, so we need a way to deal with Mence and Arcanine. Um, Finny deals with both. We'll go Finny, Cartana, Ninetales, Chomp? Uh, no. We'll take, um, take Coco over Chomp. Alright, alright. Should be, should be okay. Should be okay fire. We'll just go for a Calm, not, calm Mind and switch out Cartana. Uh, Finny's in a really good position here against the Rock type and the Fire type. He can't really touch me. Unless he has Z move on his Gigalith, then he could do some damage, but still not going to be enough. So, we're just going to go straight for the Calm Mind. And switch out Cartana into. We could do Nine Tails to get up the. Hail. Yeah, we'll go on the Nine Tails. Yeah, that's fine. He would have to double up into Cartana for it to kill the Nine Tails. Uh, there's an argument to be made for just going for a Muddy Water instead of um, instead of a Calm Mind. But I feel like I'm in such a good position that I might as well set up. So I switch our Cartana. We'll see if he's switching at all. As he just goes for the Will O Wisp, so that was a mistake. As it doesn't do anything in the Misty turn, we're going to get up our Calm Mind. And he's going to Heavy Slam into the Finny, that's fine, it's not going to do a lot. Uh, it does more than I expected, but still not enough. And uh, the Arcanine does outspeed me, but I outspeed the Gigalith. So, we're actually just going to Encore this Arcanine and Muddy Water. And then next turn if he switches, I can like Icy Wind Protect, or Blizzard Protect if he switches to Mence. I'm basically in a really good position here, because... The Arcanine is getting Encored in, and the Gigalith cannot one-shot my Finny from this range. Uh, I guess it, it could, if it's, um, so he, he withdraws, okay, that's good. Or, that was, uh, his best play. Uh, so I do Encore nothing, but I'm okay with that. Oh my god! Oh my god, Parkour! Parkour! What the fuck was that? What the f what the fuck was that? I'm back, guys. What the fuck was that? I went for the muddy water key, wide guarded, and then um, I went for the Aurora Veil, and Nine Tails went down. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna bring back in our katana as it does shit on his Porygon too and his Gigalith. God damn, 
memes. Now we're just gonna go for a common and a sacred sword onto the Porygon. As he's going to attempt to protect, which has a chance to fail, and it did. A 70% chance to fail, actually. And we'll see if he... Tr he's probably going to trick him, which I'm fine with. Because my Finny is in a fine spot right here. As no, he just goes with the Shadow Ball, so not exactly sure what the hell he's doing. As that does no damage. So I broke my green screen, apparently. Um, you know what? Let's just turn it off. So I don't know what this is, but it, it's broken right now. There we go. Uh, I don't I don't know what happened, but I broke it. That's what happened. Whatever. All right, so uh, he didn't set up the trick room, so I'm in a great position. We're just going to muddy water as he did. Try to protect last turn. And we'll just leaf blade the Gigalith in case he does wide guard. As he doesn't. So Gigalith's gonna go down to the leaf blade. Oh, it actually doesn't. But it's going to go down to the muddy water, assuming I don't miss. As he's still going for Shadow Balls, not going to do any damage. I don't know why he's running Shadow Balls at Thunderbolt, but whatever. As the hail stops. Oh right, they're doing literally no damage because I got up that Aurora now. Arcanine comes back in, that's fine. Shiny Arcanine. Alright, so we switch in our Coco. The iron goes for a Flare Blitz, so I'm not going to do too much damage to Coco. Alright, so we'll probably do over half, not even over half, but I get burned, not too big of a deal though. Alright, so he takes some recoil, I go for the Muddy Water. The Arcanine avoids! PICKLE! <laughs> Cue the parkour! Oh my god, it's so fucking cold! Oh! I forgot! This is for the burn, too! 10% burn, 30% miss! Parkour! I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street! Under the sun, the best the sun will pop the clock to be the Alright, so we're just going to Twinkle Tackle the Mence and Muddy Water, and this will be GG. As he goes for a Protect, but it doesn't really matter. As we're going to do a little bit of damage with this Twinkle Tackle to the Mence. Kill the Arcanine with the Muddy Water, assuming it hits. And then that should close up the game. Ooh. That Mensa. Wow, that is almost half. And, uh, Flare Boots comes out, gonna pick up the kill on the Coco. As his. Coco! Or his. Wow, it doesn't kill me, but the burn really actually mattered here. Um, as his Arcanine actually outspeeds Finny. Which makes sense because I have no investment. <laughs> as this is going to kill the Arcanine. As it finally connects. Um, and then Coco's gonna go down, go down here, it doesn't matter. Finny will easily take care of this Mens. And I also have Kartana, which is just gonna get flamethrowered, but doesn't really matter. As my Aurora Veil wears off, but 
It's not like this man has access to Thunderbolt or anything nonsensical like that. He does just flamethrower the Kartana. Kartana goes down, and Mens goes down to an ice beam. Okay, so game one win through all the RNG. We got a couple parkour sessions. Let's see how many more we can get in the next one. All right, guys, we're back with game two. We've got an opponent with a rating of 1481, so decently low. He's got a team of Gengar, Togunamaru, Melodic, Salamence, Porygon 2 and Tapu Bulu. So I need. Kartana's good against Bulu and Melodic. Garchomp's good against Bulu. Garchomp's good against Gengar. Garchomp's good against Togedemaru. Um, Vinny is good against Mence. And Kartana's also good against Porygon 2. Uh, Ninetales also deals with Mence. Nine Tails adds speed control, which I think I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Nine Tails and Chump. I don't have a flying type on this team. Uh, that's unfortunate. So Nine Tails Chomp is actually a pretty bad lead because it means I'm 100% going to hit myself with the earthquake. So I'm just gonna lead Cartana due to that, and then we'll take the Chomp Coco. Yeah, sounds good. We don't really need Finny or Arcanine for anything. Melodic Salamence is his lead. I wish I'd led with... Ooh, shiny Melodic. I wish I'd led with my Coco. But that's okay. Because... We can just switch out Kartana and go for a blizzard. I uh, definitely do not want to Icy Wind, considering there's a Melodic on the field. Uh, he's obviously going to... No, we'll just go for Aurora Veil. Because he's going to protect Mence and Scald Ninetales, most likely. Or he's going to Flamethrower Kartana. Either way, the Aurora Veil is pretty good here. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer to just kill the Mints, but because I have Focus Sash, and I'm faster than both of the Mons, and as Mons don't have priority, I can afford to just set up the Aurora Veil. Or he could also... Uh, this is an interesting lead matchup, because both of our Pokemon counter each other's Pokemon. So... Uh, he could also protect Melodic Flamethrower, uh, the Kartama slot, which I am okay with because uh, Tapu Koko is also kind of Melodic, but better because it deals with the uh, Salamence as well. It's in no threat of being killed by the Mints, as we'll see what the Melodic goes for. Yep, a Scald into the Ninetales. And we do not get burned. Good. Uh, so he'll take some chip damage. And now, we can just go for the very safe Thunderbolt Blizzard. But let's check what he has in the back first. Make sure we can play around any potential ground types or anything like that. He's got Gengar, Porygon 2, Bulu. Or wait, no, Toga tomorrow. Wait. Yeah, okay, so Gengar took him reporting on to Bulu. Um, so, he could actually switch into Tokenomaru with a uh, Lightning Rod ability. So, I'm actually just going to go for the Dazzling Gleam because of that. Or alternatively, I could go for Discharge, as it wouldn't do too much to my Ninetales due to the Arrival. Yeah, let's just go for Discharge. Uh, that way, in case he does stay in with Melodic, we can hit it, and if he switches out to Token Mario, 
uh, as he does not, he switches out to Gengar, so I'm happy I went for the Discharge, it's going to do more damage than the Dazzling Gleam would. Actually, no, it wouldn't, would it? It would do... Dazzling Gleam would probably do more. Oh well, that's fine. It's not going to do much to my Ninetales. Unless I paralyze myself, uh, then I'll kill myself. Oh, we paralyzed the Gengar! Parkour! Oh wait, are we supposed to do it only when we get hacked? We'll do it only when we get hacked. Here comes the blizzard. Probably just gonna kill this Gengar. Yeah, that was a very unsafe switch. Oh shit! Parkour! Okay guys, so I apparently broke my green screen. As he's going for the Bloom Doom with Tapu Bulu, probably into my um, Tapu Coco slot that I actually protected. Uh, I, I'm not sure why uh, I broke my green screen. I think it was doing this or something, but um, it just it just won't it won't chroma key for whatever reason. As it does go into the Coco, which is really good because I protected. As he called in my Garchomp and didn't get the burn. So we don't have to immediately go back to parkour. As now, uh, he's pretty much told me that he does not have the uh, token Amara in the back. So I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt onto Melodic and the Poison Jab onto Bulu. As there's not really much he can do to play around it. As he protects Bulu, that's fine. As he probably has an Ice Beam on Melodic, but... Oh no, this will actually live, because I don't have the E-Terrain up, so I actually misplayed. I probably should have protected my Chomp. But that's okay. So I don't really need it. I still have Cartana. And even Salamence isn't going to enjoy a Smart Strike, so this is fine. And we still have Nine Tails too. Oh, even Ninetales could just come in here, actually. Uh, so when is my hail ending? Ooh, I don't know about the hail ending, though. No, I'm just going to bring in a Katana. It's safer. Because if the hail were to end a turn after he gets a double protect or something, that would be super unfortunate. Yeah, we'll just bring in Katana. As I'm not really afraid of this Melodic, so I think I'm just going to double up into the top of Bulu to guarantee the kill. As he did just protect last turn. So, uh, if he switches out in the Mence, it'll just die to the Trinkle Tackle. And then, as Melodic goes protect, so that pretty much seals up the game here. Basically, I wasn't too worried about anything Melodic would go for it, and it was pretty likely for him to uh, go for the Protect as well. So I just wanted to ensure getting rid of this Bulu, as Ninetales can just clean up the Mence easy, no problem, and either of these can pick up the kill on the Melodic whenever I need it. And bye Bulu. So that is going to seal up the game here. Uh, as the hail does stop, so that's perfect. And now we can just Thunderbolt Melodic and Smart Strike Mence. Let Kartana die and then switch it in uh, after... Wait, what did that say? The Aurora Veil wears off, doesn't really matter anymore. As here comes the Mence. Intimidate goes off, doesn't really matter. Uh, 
as I could just double up into Melodic. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Um, as it doesn't really matter, Ninetales, we know, outspeeds Mence, because we know Mence doesn't have Choice Guard, and he goes for the Protective Melodic, but it fails. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have doubled up into Melodic, because he was definitely going for that. Oh, but this is why I doubled up into Melodic. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter, because he's gonna flamethrower and kill me. Which I actually could have lived that if we had the Aurora Veil, possibly. As I am a soul fest. But anyway, doesn't matter. Now we can just bring in the Nine Tails, Blizzard, and Dazzling Gleam to our heart's content. Blizzard, Dazzling Gleam, as Melodic Protects, doesn't matter, here comes the Dazzling Gleam, as it's GG. Spam A as fast as possible. As it would actually be correct to go for a Thunderbolt, but doesn't matter. Good game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please consider leaving a like and sharing it on social media. It really would help me out a lot. And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and uh, checking out my other videos. But yeah, guys, thank you so much again. Peace out.